In this video we're going to look at the locus of points which are the same distance away from two complex numbers on an Argand diagram. The process is going to be similar to the one that we used before where we change um, z for x plus i y, we group the real and imaginary parts together and then we find the modulus of each of the um, sides of the equation and then we solve. Just as we did in our first locus video, we need to change z into the form x plus i y, which will be a general um, point. So we're going to substitute that into our moduli, and we get x plus i y, where there was z in each case. Now when we're finding the moduli, we need it in real parts and imaginary parts, so we group those each together. Now. Remember that the moduli is the real part squared plus the imaginary part squared square rooted. Well, we've got that on both sides, so we're just going to do the real parts squared plus the imaginary part squared. And we're not going to bother with the square root because we've got it on both sides, so we can simply square on the next line anyway. The next thing we do is we expand each of the brackets. And remember, if you've got a plus b all squared, you just get a squared plus 2ab plus b squared, so that speeds things up, and we get this long expression here. One thing that's really nice is that in this situation, I know that um, there are no um, squared terms, so it makes it easier when I'm cancelling down to know that they're going to go, but obviously I want to make sure, just in case I've gone wrong, and that will become clear in the explanation later on. So the x squared is going to cancel, the y squared is going to cancel. And we're left with 4y plus 8x minus 24 equals 0. That would do as an answer, but hopefully you can see that we can divide through by 4. And we get the line y plus 2x minus 6 equals 0. To understand what's just happened, we need to understand that on an Argand diagram, the modulus is the distance of one point from another. So in each of these moduli, we need to work out how far away z is from one point and how far away z is from another. So we work out the actual point. Remember, it's got to be a negative. So in that first one, the minus i becomes plus i. In the second one, the positive i becomes minus i. So what we're looking for is a point z, um, a point z which is the same distance from the point 5 plus i that, um, as it is from the point 1 minus i. Well, you might remember from coordinate geometry, that's going to be the line of equidistance, because everywhere along that line is the same distance from both points. In the description below, you can find a link to a worksheet that has questions that you can try on your own. I hope you found this video helpful. Stay in Infield with Winfield.